Welcome back, beautiful tri-state area. You're listening to A Moment of Zen right here on 710 WOR, the voice of New York iHeartRadio. I'm your host, Zen Sams. Up in just a few minutes, we have our influencer segment brought to you by CO2 Lift. And today, we're taking you on one wild ride. We're featuring the queen of Bamenda herself, Naomi Achu. Naomi is a singer-songwriter, a two-time Afrima Award winner, that's Africa Music Awards, which is a rather large annual awards event. She has millions upon millions of followers. She originates from a town called Bamenda in Cameroon, Africa, hence her popular moniker, Queen of Bamenda. Her latest album, African Pepper, is a songwriter's journey around the world. Her latest single, Waiting All My Life, is an Afrobeat sensational hit reviewed by Source Magazine with rave reviews, mixing infectious dance beats with a compelling narrative and beautiful visuals to create an aesthetic that is one's transnational yet still all her own. Afrobeats is one music genre on the rise, popular and important because of its globally palatable sound and aesthetic, which represents the spirit of modern Africa. Afrobeats music artists like Burna Boy and Wizkid show the world that Africans in general have been influenced by the same pop culture trends in music and film as everyone else during the last 20 years. Here to chat career, life, and Afrobeats is the amazing Naomi Achu. Welcome to the show, superstar. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you for having me, Zen. Always a pleasure to sit with you. So excited that you're at our headquarters right here in Midtown Manhattan. I know you came from afar to be here with us today. So thank you so much for joining. Now, congrats on all your success and on your latest hit single, Waiting All My Life. It was produced, to my understanding, by by Pro Fingers of Nigeria. Yes. And Afrobeats has been on the rise. We've been talking about it for several years now. Why do you feel that people gravitate to the music as much as they do, making it one of the most popular music genres today? Well, I think it was a matter of time. Um, Afrobeats has always been what it is, melodic, full of happiness, um, the the rhythms. Um, it makes you want to dance. And I'm just so happy for um, streaming and for social media um, and for Spotify giving um, entertainers a platform where they can share their music and their artistry because it always was what it was. And now we can share our talent with the world using those platforms. Oh, you sure can. And you're doing it in real time. I mean, Afrobeats has become popular by fusing classic African rhythm with the sounds of global urban music from Jamaica, you know, from Jamaican dance hall to, mm-hmm. to hip hop, which has resulted in an intoxicating popular brand, blend of what we call Afrobeats music that's uniquely African, but also has global sonic appeal. So I think that that's why it makes it so um, palatable and yes. easy to digest. Now, yes. you have a new hit single, Waiting All My Life. What mm-hmm. inspired the song? So initially it was just the beat, you know, um, the way I write my song, sometimes I'll write a song and then I take it to the producer and he builds to the beat. Um, and sometimes if I hear a beat and I really like it, I'll just start working on it. So Pro Fingers, he sent me this beat and I, you know, I loved it. And I was like, what kind of lyrics can I place here that would you know, be profound and make people think. And I was like waiting all my life. Um, And then I started to build. Um, I went further in. Um, Initially, um, when I started writing the hook, it was just a hook. But as I went into the verses, it got, you know, I made it more personal. I was like, okay, what are we waiting all our lives for? The love of our lives. You know, it's always about love. Love is such a beautiful thing and it's worth waiting all your life for. So I just got started to build And I started to think about, oh, you know, high school sweethearts or best friends that you have to um, leave behind because you have to go to college and you got to move out of state. Um, And then I started thinking about all these relationships that we've lost because life, because of life, you know. Wow, that is some narrative. Thank you for putting that down and being transparent because your experiences are clearly making an impact on somebody else's life and either picking them up or causing them to reflect, right? And that's what it's about. Now, yeah. Afrobeats is popular because it represents Africa taking its rightful place in the world, on the world stage, so to speak. The mm-hmm. the effects of the cultural diffusion that occurred over the past 20 years through TV channels like MTV and then the internet have now reached full circle. We've been talking about this for quite some time. Where can we see you perform next, number one? And what are what are you currently working on? 
Um, there is the Mataraka Festival, which is coming up in 2024. And we're going to be touring the whole of United States. So look out for that. That one's going to be really big. Um, I'm one of the artists. And there's about maybe four or five other artists from Africa. So it will be definitely um an African fest. I love it. I love it. And after a steady rise for for your genre of music over the last few year years, I mean, you've you have brothers out there, artists like Wiz Kid and Burna Boy and 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 Thames all over the Western music charts, winning big at the Grammys mm-hmm. and BT Awards and headlining the biggest festivals. To your point, but for the growing African diaspora that's been fueling its rise, the music goes a lot deeper than its commercial success. I mean, Afrobeats is paving a way back home for members of mm-hmm. the diaspora, and its dominance is built on self acceptance and cultural pride, and yes. that really, really resonates with people. And and that's the heart mm-hmm. of it all. Now, the, mm-hmm. we've been talking about the the music genre experiencing a golden age and it's attributed to streaming platforms and social media apps like TikTok. These days, African artists like yourself and, and WizKid and, and CK can can boast about billions of streams on mm-hmm. Spotify and Boomplay and YouTube. Yes. You have millions upon millions of followers, my dear. How has social media shaped your music career? Oh, um, a great deal. Just um, it just gives me a platform to be myself um, while waiting to get on the TV shows and the radio shows. You know, you can be creative. You can just go out there um, and do what you want to do. Um, and this is especially um, a, a great platform for um, independent artists who want to be seen. A lot of independent artists have broken out um, on social media without having to be with a record label. Um, it's really just believing in yourself and stepping out, using those platforms to be your true self. There was a time when we, you know, Africans wanted our culture to be seen. And now we're being seen, we're being accepted. And we have a lot of people looking forward to visiting Africa. And that makes me feel so good because Africa is so beautiful. It's so colorful. Um, it's a wonderful place to be. The food is good. So I'm just happy that social media has given us the space to share our culture and not only to share our culture, but to form a fusion. That's so important to form mm-hmm. a fusion. And it always begins with, you know, homegrown talent working their way yeah. outwards into the world. And that's exactly what you've done. Your mm-hmm. fashion style, I mean, just looking at you, you are Thank incredibly you not only talented, but you're beautiful. Thank so you. let's chat outfits, wardrobe and inspiration <laughs> behind it all. Um, your style is fabulous. Where do you draw your fashion sense from? Um, so I have people that I admire. I, I really do admire Jennifer Lopez, um, her style. Um, I like, uh, who else do I like? I like JLo. I'm really, I'm a JLo girl, but I don't dress like her. But um, I take inspiration from her and then I mix it with my African flair. I always want to put my culture in everything that I do. So I'll probably, I'll pick up like a something American or something Indian and then I'll mix it with an African chain or an African earring. Um, I didn't get a chance to do that today, but you know, the outfit was already doing so much, but <laughs> well, normally you I would be here with like cracker. a big long chain, but I was like, no, the outfit's doing too much. The red hair was for iHeartRadio. This is my, you know, my res- paying my respects to iHeartRadio, um, in and WOR, of course. Um, well, you look, yeah. you're a firecracker you. <laughs> like, you. wrapped in a Chanel lipstick. Thank you. Now let's chat skincare routine. You mm-hmm. always are on the go and un- undoubtedly take great care of yourself. Your Thank skin you. is glowing. I have become obsessed with this new product that I discovered that's actually the very sponsor of this segment called CO2 Lift. And it comes in a gel form. It's a topical gel face mask application. And it's it's proven carboxy therapy. It has many proprietary uses. This is like a non-invasive procedure. Mm -hmm. involving the therapeutic use of carbon dioxide for skin rejuvenation. Mm -hmm. But it's amazing for skin of color because the founder, Lana, is Jamaican. Mm -hmm. And she really, really saw a huge difference in her uh, studies when it came to hyperpigmentation and discoloration and dehydrated skin, Mm -hmm. which is why CO2 lift is specifically effective for models and influencers and public figures. Now, Mm -hmm. obviously, this is something we want you to try. So we're going to send you a whole bunch of product. But I want to know about your beauty routine and how you look as fabulous as you do. I know this product is only going to help you even look more fabulous, but talk to me about how you're so glowy. Water. Water, water, water. Um, I'll put it to you this way. As an African child growing up, what we had was water. Water from the tap, water from the stream, water, water, water. And 
I just drink my water. Um, of course, you know, you're going to I do the regular. I don't do anything, you know, special, exceptional, but apart from drinking a lot of water, staying hydrated. And you mentioned being hydrated. So I know your product is going to do wonders for me as well, because it's all about hydration. And I think also sleeping well. Um, I love my sleep, so whenever I can get a ch- whenever I get a chance, I, I I take a nap or you know I try to have at least eight hours, six hours of sleep. So at night. important to sleep. Yes, it, mm-hmm. I actually read a study that all the inflammatory conditions yes. in our bodies start because of a lack of sleep, because yes. of a lack of hydration, mm-hmm. because of a lack of you know proper nutrition. So all of what you said is extremely important. And to touch upon proper hydration, another one of our sponsors, and I'm a big shout out to Once Upon mm-hmm. a Coconut because I've been drinking the raw Once Upon a Coconut mm-hmm. uh, uh, cans and it's incredibly hydrating. It has 400 milligrams of potassium. I think you would need four bananas to get to that, which is tons of sugar and who wants to eat all those bananas. But when it comes to hydration, Mm -hmm. you're going to receive a whole bunch of once upon a coconut cases. The chocolate is my favorite. And so is the the pineapple. But it's going to work wonders for your skin. Now we have about five minutes left. And I want to talk about, um, so according to conversation.com, from Nigeria to the world, and we've been talking about Nigeria a lot, yes. and you're headed there soon. Yes. Afrobeats is having this global moment. And in this case, pop musicians from other parts of the African continent have been making music under the Afrobeats banner. Yes. But it's the Nigerians, Wizkid, Davidu, Burna Boy, who have each sold out the O2 Arena in, in mm-hmm. London or the Acre Arena in Paris. Undoubtedly, yes. Nigerian artists are the trailblazers of the Afrobeats movement. Mm-hmm. What do you say to this? I've asked you this in the yes. past, but do we give it to the Nigerians? Well, we can. And like I was saying earlier, um, I'm going to give New York as an example. A lot of um, the best known rappers come out of New York. Why? Because New York is highly populated and New York has New York and they have a lot of fans that can push them. So with Nigeria being what top five most populated um, countries in Africa, of course, they're going to push Afrobeats more. Now, let's say, okay, me being from Cameroon and I speak English and French, if I take my French, French and I give it to a Nigerian, let's say Afrobeat artist like Whiskey, I sing the same thing. He sings the same thing. We sound just as good. His is going to go probably further because of the population of Nigeria. And it's OK. It's 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 perfectly fine. Um, there are some countries that are more populated and more supportive. And it's it's fine. We are one Africa and we're here to support Nigeria. What a good answer. Politically correct. You are always at the forefront of making sure everyone looks good. Um, and whether it's a uh, Runtown donning a Scarface tee on Unleash or Wizkid showing off his grill, Afrobeats definitely remains popular because its sound and aesthetic is an easily recognizable modern international yeah. cross-cultural symbol that delivers this potent Afrocentric musical potion. And that's what it is. It can, it can only be described as an intoxicating celebration, I say, of the modern African spirit. So you have infectious rhythms, uh, beautiful black women in music videos like yourself many reasons to fall in love with Afrobeats, <laughs> which is why it's become so popular my darling thank you so much we are out of time thank you that was the incredible naomi at you you can head directly on the gram at naomi at you or you can head directly to her website naomi at you.com listen for her latest single waiting all my life an afrobeat sensational hit playing all over u.s radio stations that was our influencer segment brought to you by co2lift.com head directly to co2lift.com and try it for yourself you're going to love this product it's basically non-invasive filler you're listening to a moment of zen right here on 710 wor the voice of new york iheart radio we'll be right back after this My feeling was a 10 over 10 Someday I lonely, why you no call me? I know say you're busy, it was a long time ago But the feeling still no go go, no, no
A Moment of Zen is brought to you by CO2 Lift. As we age, our skin loses moisture and elasticity, causing wrinkled skin. You can reverse this aging process with CO2 Lift. CO2 Lift utilizes the powerful benefits of carbon dioxide to lift, tighten, and regenerate your skin. This simple, painless at home carboxy therapy treatment is scientifically proven to reverse the aging process. You will see reduction in wrinkles, increase in luminosity, and improve pigmentation, sagging, skin tone, and radiance. For more information or to order CO2 Lift, go to CO2 Lift. Lift.com.